Welcome back. We are here looking at the ETFs, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, August 2nd, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the ARK Innovation, and as you can see, on Friday, it got absolutely hammered down 1.32%, and we got really rejected here at the middle of the bullish band, basically yet again. So that could spell uh, trouble for this ETF as, as it is pulling back. Uh, dropping below this uh, trend line here, that could basically drop this all the way down to the 300 moving average at 108. Uh, bouncing off the upper trend line, then we could go and retest the 150 moving average up here at 125. Technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bearish, the RSI is bearish, the CCI is basically flat, and the stochastic is flat at this point as well. Can it reject it here? As you can see, we have been rejected several times at the middle of the bullish band, and that is not a good sign for this ETF. So let's look at DBI. So DBI, very similar story here. We tried to rally up towards the 100 moving average and then got rejected and fell below the 20 exponential moving average. At this current stage, it kind of looks like we are going to retest the 150 moving average. And in general, probably the market is going to pull back quite a bit before continuing higher. So MACD is still bullish, RSI is bearish, the CCI is bullish, and the stochastic is still bullish, but it is really turning around. Break below the middle of the bullish band that could open the door to the bottom here at 113 and that's just above the uh, 150 moving average so let's look at vti so vti very similar rallied and then dropped 0.59 percent but still we're in uptrend we're still way above the middle of the bullish band break below here that could open the door to 100 and uh, 221 and the 50 moving average, that is basically the bottom of this market, or has been. If we can scroll way back, it is basically the 50 moving average has been where major buying has occurred, but also at the 20 and the 40 exponential moving average. At this current stage, we're still above the middle of the bullish band. The middle is right here at the 225, and break below that, that could open the door. Basically, we're just dropping roughly 2.4% to the downside. MACD is still bullish, RSI is bearish, CCI is bullish, and stochastic is becoming bearish at this current stage. So let's look at MCHI. So uh, this has been absolutely crushed this year. It went all the way down here, roughly lost uh, 31, 32%. Uh, last week and um, we gained uh, quite a bit and then started falling again we didn't even get close to the 20 exponential or the middle of the bullish band here before breaking down yet again we're approaching uh, still uh, oversold condition it was significantly oversold here did rally roughly nine percent to the upside ten percent to the upside and then it looks like it's getting rejected yet again so MACD is still bearish, RSI is stochastic, is still negative further, but it could be becoming bullish. Uh, RSI is flat and the CCI is bearish at this current stage. So not looking good for this ETF as it when it rallies up towards the 20, it really gets in trouble and we're very far from the 20 at this current stage. So let's look at IVV. So IV, uh, very similar here. We basically uh, fell yet again on Friday, have a present to the downside. MACD is, uh, MACD is uh, crossing the signal line, uh, becoming bearish. The RSI is bearish and the CCI is bullish at this point and the stochastic is bearish. So if we break below the middle of the bullish band, we could drop to towards the very bottom here, which is roughly a 430. And that would mean that we'll drop just above the, the just above the 50 moving average and the 50 moving average has been major support in the past and we should see uh, this bouncing from that break below the, uh, the 50 and we go to the 100 and uh, 100 moving average and we haven't basically tested the 100 moving average we have to go all the way back here november last year when we tested a 100 moving average last otherwise 50 40 20 have all been supportive in the past and yes it is uh, pulling back, but pullbacks have been buying opportunities so far. 
So I hope you find it helpful. You're willing to support the channel by subscribing and hit the like button, bell button to see our new videos. And good luck, and thank you very much.